Hey, what's up everybody? This is Power Glove Pixels. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and third party. So Nintendo needs third party support. It cannot rely just on first party. It doesn't work like that. Look what happened with the Wii U. They tried it. It didn't actually become successful. Um, and, and you know, honestly, Nintendo's been struggling with third party for a very long time. And a lot of a lot of times it has to do with the decisions that they do um, and I'm pretty sure it's from J J Japan because you know Nintendo's a, very, a Japanese company and a lot of decisions that they do is just they're not great at the end of the day for third party and um, it kind of sucks that Nintendo is not the king when it comes to third party since I'll say since the NES and the Super Nintendo and um, back then they had everything um, but you know they need third-party support. They need, they need a Call of Duty. They need a Destiny. Um, they need big AAA games. And at the moment, we're not really seeing that. Hopefully, with E3, you know, um, we see some of these big AAA games. You know, because E3 to me, it kind of shows me kind of like the future of what Nintendo's thinking. And you know, it's pretty critical that they have to um, show something. So a lot of developers have been talking and they haven't been saying good comments about the Nintendo Switch. For example, Borderlands 3, they say that uh, they were talking with Nintendo, but apparently they stopped talking to them for some reason. That's not looking good. Uh, also, the developer from Resident Evil, same thing. They said at the moment they're not working on anything on the Nintendo Switch. So we're not going to see Resident Evil 7. Um, and also the, the company from Titanfall, uh, they made some, that the guy had an interview or something, they were doing some, uh, some show, drinking show, and um, apparently he, not really a fan of Nintendo, and apparently he was excited, but apparently, I don't know, it just, to him, it's, it seems Nintendo's a joke. Um, yeah, and I'll put the video right now so you guys can check it out. Not getting ten people standing around watching you watching play people Mario play on a six-inch screen. Yeah, that ain't right. gonna happen. That, happen that just either. ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Nintendo, that's a lie. You've lied to my face. <laughs> I just thought this was a little presumptuous of them to do. They're like, we're designing a device that's going to be embraced by this community. Like, you don't know that. What games are gonna God, be on it? You wait, know what I mean? They're gonna be playing on it. He brings up a really good point, though. Like, no, let me get serious for one second here. Mm -hmm. Like, anybody who tries to basically create something for esports like ahead of time without actually it just it doesn't well work well. you need to put it out there you need to put it out there and see what the community wants Cheers. so th this leads one sec based on what you've seen i know we don't have all the details Correct. ted would you drink to this I was on the fence when I first heard about this thing. Um, I've been a Nintendo fan for a long time, but I skipped the last iteration of their console because I just don't really like where they've been going. They're underpowered and the multiplayer is weird and stuff like that. Um, I will drink to the concept of this because there are things in this video that I've never seen before. The modular controller, the return to cartridges, I mean, I've seen that, but that's just cool. Um, the whole LAN party aspect, so yes, All right. I will. And All we'll right. see what happens when All it comes right. out. No. I'm not drinking to it. No, no I thought you not. were. Actually. No, no. <laughs> I'll tell you, you just refilled your glass. I did. I did. Yeah, I, I, I got to tell you, I was excited about it because Nintendo has been in such a niche market recently. Like mm -hmm. you know, catering to like the handheld and like I'm gonna be honest with you, with the kids. They've been so underpowered that they don't have the support of the third parties because right. they're all you know, making for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Okay. And that's huge. And it's no different. I am going to drink to it, mainly because I understand. I think it will be underpowered. I think there's going to, like, I'm not going to be able to play Titanfall on it. No. No. Can you tell me? Well, they're not. No, you're not going to be able to play Titanfall on it. No, seriously, no. That's, that's the same so Zelda man, from the Wii U. Come on, man. <laughs> we have an audience here. Can I play Titanfall 2 on the Switch? No. Okay. So, but the thing is, the one thing I'll give Nintendo, the idea, of simply being able to play on a console with friends, but also being able to go, you know what, I'm gonna take this on the go, and it's all the same, seamless. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been done. Just hasn't been done, and I think it's it brilliant. Hasn't been done. And it's not even a I concept of the show. They that's are doing cool. it. That's it's very gone. Cool. It's and it's gonna so, happen. Yeah, so, right. Nintendo, we're, we're drinking to it. Mo, it's okay, you gotta think. <laughs> I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a little sip. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see from the video, it seems that he's not really a fan of the Nintendo Switch and you know it kind of sucks because um, it doesn't look like we're going to get 
Titanfall 2. Now, it's possible to bring Titanfall 2 maybe to the Nintendo Switch, but it might not look as good now. But as long as that option is there, you know, that would be great, you know. And it kind of sucks that a lot of developers are kind of just waiting and, and you know, it, it kind of sucks. You know, for example, Street Fighter, there's a Street Fighter coming to the Nintendo Switch and, you know, there hasn't been a Street Fighter since the Super Nintendo. There wasn't one on the Wii or the Wii U uh, or the GameCube and even the Nintendo 64. So that kind of shows you that Nintendo is not the same company that it was back in the 80s and 90s where it had that um, third party support. So that's pretty much it for the video. Um, I just wanted to just give uh, a mini update of what I think about this uh, on third parties. Um, and uh, yeah, let, I would like to know what do you guys think about, about third parties. Do you guys buy Nintendo systems to buy just first party? Or would you guys support um, in, you know these third party uh, games if they would come to this system? Um, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This is Power Glove Pixels. Till next time, signing out.